By 2050, the world's population will reach 9.7 billion people. Demand for food will increase, which means that we have to work on energy efficient solutions for the agricultural value chains, and we need to replace fossil fuels by renewable energies. The Powering Agriculture Grand Challenge just find a pretty narrow space that is the nexus between energy and agriculture. And then we threw out a series of open calls for uh, people to provide solutions, both on the technology and the business model side, that could really achieve scale to attract private sector investment into those solutions. The information and the amount of support that Powering Agriculture has offered its innovators is really fantastic. We've tailored support to each innovator and to their different business models and the technologies that they're using. I think that each partner in this initiative has something to bring to the table that's unique and that's their strength. USAID, for example, is quite strong in giving support to the private sector, whereas Sweden is focusing very much on gender empowerment and poverty alleviation. And the German government, we provide technical advice on the ground, so we are quite close to the needs and challenges. With the knowledge management component of Powering Egg, we organize workshops, conferences. We established an online platform. There you can find all the knowledge products These companies start from nothing. Oftentimes they'll have a product that is very simple, very small, and the companies can grow to a point where they're employing hundreds or thousands of people. So it's not the size of the product, it's the size of the idea. A lot of times what the entrepreneurs think they need and what the development financial institutions think they need isn't necessarily what investors want to see. But as investors, we know exactly what we want to see to get these companies investment ready. So Alpha Mundi's role is really to work with the companies in almost a project management role. The fact that we were able to bring development, money, and initiative to the table along with private capital, I think is something that we should try to emulate in the future. We're really trying to support the growth of an ecosystem where there wasn't one before, and that can't be done alone. So I think we have accomplished more together than what we could have accomplished in this same space individually. I think the role of development financial institutions needs to be how do we unlock more of this capital for the sustainable development goals and getting creative about how to do that and how to bring all of these parties together. So I think that this challenge was a great start and I hope they continue to do more. <laughs>